Hi, I've got this uh, Interstate Electronics Corporation F51 uh, function generator. Uh, this is like 1976 or 77, I can't remember. Oh no, sorry, 70, 77, yeah. There's a 1974 chip there as well. Um, so this, this thing doesn't work. When it's powered on, it just um, outputs DC on the uh, outputs and does nothing. So I'm going to try and get it working again. Uh, I'm not going to film the troubleshooting process because that's probably really boring since I'm not very good at it because it's new to me. So uh, the first thing I'm going to have to do is replace all of these very, very old capacitors. As you can see, this one's kind of disintegrated. And unfortunately, there are a lot of them that I need to replace. So this is going to take a little while. I did want to make a short video on building a jig for these things because the lead size is, uh, or spacing is totally different. Let me just get one of the new ones out. Uh, this one's all disintegrated, but you can see how they're way off. It's like 30% bigger or something. So I'm going to try and make a little jig to make bending all 70 or so of these. Um, I also have a bunch of to 220s to replace in it and uh, you know maybe maybe that's all it needs because these caps are just literally disintegrating and this is a pretty cool function generator because it's got this big manual dial on it but the outer one is like a nice fine adjust it's very very nicely built um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it working but uh, it'll be kind of an interesting thing to work on all well, these these are all just point one microfarad 50 volt um, film caps or whatever. So, all right, I'm gonna take out a board and see if I can extract a good example of an intact capacitor so I can make this jig. This is what I came up with. Uh, it's obviously just a little proto board. Um, I've soldered on various pin headers and just trimmed off the metal. Uh, I left enough that it's, that it's just the solder and the little bit of plastic because I'm actually using the plastic as a guide so this thing's not perfect but the rough idea is you put it in one side bend down the leads and then just flip it over and this is actually really hard to do on the camera and then flip it into this side and then bend these down and then you're done. And you have a, a cap that's about the right size. Well, I mean, you know, these will be easy to insert. Um, my only concern is that uh, they may come down and touch the board, but I'll just have to be careful when soldering. So, as you can see, I've been able to turn out a few of these. Not bad for a couple seconds per cap uh, yeah I could do it by hand but my, my worry is um, on these caps it's because it's like a molded resin stuff my uh, worry is that I'll snap it through the actual casing of the cap so I wanted something that would really hold it in place and prevent it from going too far down and flip bend done. Easy. Uh, obviously uh, it's not perfect. Like see sometimes it doesn't come out as uh, nicely formed on one side but really it doesn't matter. It's just just to get the spacing right really. So uh, yeah that should save a bit of time. I'm going to do all one action in a row and then do all the other action because it's inefficient to go back and forth. So I would just dump out the bag, knock them all out one way, flip it over, knock them out again on the other side. Easy, hopefully.